Today we're looking at the basics of using the sine rule to calculate angles. So I've got two examples here that we're going to work through and we'll work out the angle x in each case here. Okay. So one of the triangles is not labelled up, the other is. Okay. And we'll work through from there. Now in your formula list, um, you don't actually get this uh, formula here, but what you get is a over sine a, uh, b over sine b and c over sine c. All I've done is just flip the formula over to try and help me out with uh, working this uh, question through when I'm working through uh, an angles question. Okay, so starting, what we'll do is we'll, we'll label up the triangle. So what we'll do is I'll label this one A here, okay? And that'll be A across this side. I'll put this as B here, and that'll be B across here. That corner will be C, and that'll be C over here. And what I'm looking at is the information that I've got. Let's see and what I need to calculate. So I need to calculate the angle that's at A. So this is one thing that I need to calculate. I know the side A. I look at B here and I know sine B. So I know that and I also know the side across there. So there's my pairing that I can use. I'll be using that one. C, I don't know anything about. So I'm not going to use that in my formula. Right, so let's go ahead and substitute our values in. So I've got x there as an angle, so I'll go for sine x all over 4 for a is equal to, for sine b it's sine 66 degrees, and that's all over 8, that's there. Okay. So from there I've got 4 on the denominator on this side, so if I multiply over this side, I can take it over there, and that will leave me with sine x on its own. So that's going to be 4 times sine 66 all over 8. Okay. From there, what I can do is I can work this value out. Okay. So what we'll go for is I'll go for sine x is going to be equal to, bring my calculator over. <coughs> so what we'll go for is 4 times the sine of 66 equals, and we'll just divide that by 8. So that gives me an answer of 0 0.45677 and some more characters there. I'm going to leave that in the calculator at the moment because to work out the angle, remember you need to do the, the shift sign or the inverse sign. And what I'll do is I'll write that down as sign with a minus one. And what we'll have in here will be that number that I've still got in my calculator just now. And I'll put that in. So I'll bring the calculator over, and all I'll do is the shift button, and I'll press sign, opens a bracket, and I'll put the answer, the previous answer in there, close brackets, and press equals. So that there gives me the angle that I'm looking for. So that's going to be 27.179, okay, that's in degrees. I have to round it to three significant figures, so I've got 27.2 degrees to three significant figures. Okay. Right, so that's the, the first example completed. Let's look at the second one. In this triangle here, it's already labelled up for me. Okay, so across from A, I'll write the small a, across from B, small b, and across from C, the lowercase c. Right, so I'm going to tick all the, the things that I've got and the things I need to work out. So I'm needing to work out the sine C. So that's the one I need to work out. I know the side across from it. Okay, that's great. And I know A, so I know the sine A. And I know the small letter A is going to be 18. So there's what I've got. Don't have anything for B, so I'm not going to use B in this uh, calculation here. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just swap these round so that I've got sine C on this side over C is equal to sine A all over A. Just so I can put my numbers in that works out a bit uh, neater from here. Right, so let's put the values in. So for C, I've got 6 and it's X I've got in there. So sine X all over 6 is going to equal to sine of 75 over A, which is equal to 18. Right, from there I'm going to get rid of the 6 by multiplying over onto that side there. So sine X is equal to 6 times sine 75 
over 18. And from there, what I can do is I can keep all that in the calculator and take the inverse sign. So let's work that through. So I've got 6 times sine of 75 equals on that, divide it by 18. That gives me this answer here. So that will be sine x is going to be equal to, so that's 0 0.321975. Okay. And what I need to do now is take the inverse sign to work that out. So I'm going to leave that number in the calculator there. And from there, I'm going to go for the inverse sign of 0 0.321975, just left in the calculator. And from there, that should be working out uh, the answer for my angle. Right, so shift sign, pull in the answer, and it equals, that's going to be 18.78. So from there, I'm saying that x is equal to 18.7824. That's on degrees. I'm rounding to three significant figures, cutting them there, so that'll give me 18.8 degrees to three significant figures. Okay, so so that's uh, that's the the two of these examples worked out. And what I will be doing is I will be doing the the cosine rule basics. Uh, working out sides and also angles and then beyond that what we'll do is we'll be looking at uh, some extension work that will help you for mainly your, your prelim or it will help you out for uh, the final exam. So good luck with uh, trigonometry in the, the National 5 course.